Hey, welcome to NAB 2022. We are live here with Scott from Reading. And if you guys, first of all, just want to let you know if you have any questions, put them all in the chat. We'll uh, get to that towards the end of the broadcast a little bit later on. So uh, Scott, go ahead and tell us what we have going on today, man. How are you? Welcome to the world of human interaction <laughs> again. <laughs> Indeed, Cheers. we are here. Um, I'm going to start off with uh, Viviana, one of our distributed brands that we have. Um, first thing to mention is they have all the their extreme straps in the original, which now they've added another color by demand from customers. It's now like a dark brown color. So all the straps are available in beige, white, brown, and black now. The strap that I have in my hand is a brand new ankle strap, which they've incorporated uh, what they call the puff pouch. So the normal extreme, you know, the material with the, the special grip material. Right, so but for the extreme, okay. Yeah, so it's the extreme strap. This is only available, not on the original series, but only on the extreme. And they've added this puff pouch in there to give extra comfort to protect you from the kind of the hard edges of uh, some of the wireless transmitters for the strap. So, of course, it's, you can stretch this out, fit any of the normal transmitters in there, and you get nice extra protection with the puff pouch on Lovely. there. Lovely. And the heat, and the heat. And the heat, of course. All right, and so the it looks like they've right. applied this to uh, pouches themselves So at the same now. time, yep, so now we have the puffy pouches, puffy pouches, which are for transmitters. There's four different sizes. So we have the mini, the small, medium, and large, the typical things you expect. So the puff pouches have that same type puffy material to give some extra sort of protection. Um, for you for comfort. Okay. Okay. So they can be strapped onto a belt, either vertically or horizontally. I don't know if you can see this perfectly. Yeah, no, that's great for uh, so ori orientation preferences. Yep. Horizontally, they stretch out. Uh, of course, there's a list of which transmitters work with most. most sure, yeah. Kind of we can post that and take that later. You figure out, you know, you're not putting an, an A10 in here. Obviously. Um, so these are available in the four colors as well. Uh, excuse me, sorry, no white. No white, okay, no white. that was Three my next colors. question. I, uh, any plans for that or based on demand? Yeah, those guys will respond to any type of, uh, of Fair enough. So at this time, the three colors. And so I see a slit there as well, yeah, horizontally and vertically. Yeah, so, so they've added, they have this little guy that comes with it, it's not an a, additional accessory. So they have these little slits in here so you can flip this over and attach it to a belt just by the clip as okay, well. Okay, so you don't have to necessarily put it on a belt or you guys could just use that for safety as well. Yep, um, and then they say maybe. you can sew this into wardrobe as well. Mm. Okay, so very really helpful. Really nice, comfortable little uh, little pouch, which is new. And then finally, which I'm just going to introduce, uh, Viviana Cloud, which is the the box with the app for okay. uploading your files in real time up to the to the cloud. So they've introduced some new features and new, you know, it's now you, not just with Dropbox, but with you know Google Drive. Several different other sources yep. you can send to. And now they just announced a cooperation with Frame.io, an Adobe company. Very nice. And uh, you guys are going to interview Turi from Viviana to get the final full details for that. Yeah, we'll be diving into that uh, later for you guys. So just uh, tune in later. We'll uh, be seeing Frame.io a little bit later on right. during the show. So that's uh, Viviana. We can move on over to VT. So most people know VT for the VT500, which is sort of a you know legacy real popular go-to mic for especially talking heads. Right. Um, we also have the 403, which is the miniature, really, really durable, great sounding miniature lavalier. Um, it's also available as a waterproof version as well. Right, So it's a very good solution, those bathing suits. Exactly, and they come in multiple colors as well. So the newest product that VT has that kind of came out during the sort of the beginning of the pandemic um, was this earpiece, which really makes a lot of sense for, for production now with all hygienic concerns that people have. So it's called the VT600D. So it's the same high quality driver that they have in the, in the 600 series, but it has a quick disconnect. So the talent could get uh, their own earpiece right, to keep with them, them all the time. The, the little earpieces pop off as well. So just when they're ready to go, you just connect them. This stays with the transmitter and, uh, excuse me, the receiver, and this pops off. So nice hygienic version. And you can get this by, it, by itself and buy multiples without buying the holes. So. Excellent. And then uh, additional colors on that as well? Just beige at the moment. Just beige? Okay. And in the kit, um, you can also get one of these uh, 
the ear, ear molds. Ear molds, Lovely. which are comfortable, but doesn't, you know, doesn't block ambient sound. Yeah, so yeah. So really, the little ambient blocker. The tips. Okay, and then are there um, additional tips, or is it just the Christmas tree as an option? This is the one that comes with it, but the beige standard like cone earpieces are available for they're a couple of bucks a piece. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So that's the VT six hundred D. All right, and we're moving on. Moving on to Rycoat. So uh, t talk to me about these quirk releases. Uh, this is something personally that I am quite a fan of. I, the initial release where I could spring this across the room. Yeah, practically. yeah. So the, P <laughs> the PCS boom, this guy right here was the original that we introduced a few years ago. And so, which has the, the quick release with, with the thing. So it's real simple to use, um, works quite well. So what kind of they've released last year is they expanded the range. So. They came out with like the simple version, which is just all plastic with an insert. You can't lock it down, but on static poles, it works nice with a 3 8 insert. Or you can get the one for the typical music studio stands with the right. 5 8 threading. This guy right here with, is meant to just attach to like a wall. Okay. So if you want to store your stuff and you can lock it as well. So all your booms, if you're like at a, in a studio or on a truck, you want to just have them all lined all up. All lined up. Yeah. So this gets mounted in there, and you just pop it off to uh, to release it. Okay, so this actually could be a really good solution um, for cart setups then as well. Absolutely. If you yeah. want to have that on your utility cart uh, or even on the main cart. Yeah. Yep, exactly. And then this guy right here is the the one with the spigot. You know, for like the Manfrotto Lovely. stands for those who work in that world. And then you have the regular utility, which is. The benefit of this compared to any other one is it locks. So okay. If you want to lock it so it can't come undone, it's a twist to release lock. Okay. Yeah, that looks very rugged there. Yep. And Definitely you can get it with the, <laughs> with the little um, things for the pipe, attach it to a pipe for planting and things Excellent. like that. Excellent. Yeah, that would be great for uh, to plants, car things. Uh, and then the big the products that they came out is the Nano Shield, um, which there are six sizes of Nano Shield. It's sort of an extension of the regular, kind of the modular system into some modern designs. So you can get it, it has the built-in PCS that we just explained, and then there's a PCS handle. So literally you can go from boom pole to handheld use. Literal run and gun, we love that. With little effort whatsoever. These pods, which obviously you're gonna put the fur over it, but we show it for here. Real simple to, to disconnect, and then it's magnetic, it's you snap magnetic, it together. Yeah, absolutely. And improvements that were, were made sort of in basic designs was you don't have to unscrew with a, with a tool to this. So they've incorporated a, a oh, thumb wheel nice. so you can loosen up. And it's a, um, a compression um, type design. So when you spin this, it's pushing out so the liars won't move okay, excellent. to grab it. And the liar itself is a new design on the, on the liar to give better compliance. So for lighter microphones, you can get better um, isolation. With okay. it. And there's different shores just like there was before. Is this uh, only 19 millimeters or? They're, they have, it, the kit comes with multiple clips. Okay, so for. Uh, yeah, for the 21, 22. AB, yeah, yeah. For the, for the wider di di diameter mics. And then the really nice design that kind of goes overlooked is the spine with the swivel. So instead of like that ratchet lever where you have to rip it down, this, it works so nicely that you can just do it and then you don't have to to move it, you don't have to unscrew it. Is that like almost a quarter turn you did? Huh. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. real. And if you want to lock it down completely, you can, but you, you don't need there. to. It's not going to move. Okay. So really nice idea for, for that to yeah, not have to. Yeah, super flexible. And then you have. <laughs> and it also comes with, if you just want to have it without the PCS, it comes with the 3 8 in place of that if you want to use like an ambient. Um, so this covers you for pretty much all cases there. Yep, and like I said, there's six sizes to take care of the general most popular lengths. None of the long shotguns like an X816, but we have the regular modular system to, to handle that. All right, excellent, excellent. And then there is the Rycote shotguns. So Rycote has dove into the microphone world with uh, introducing two designed shotguns, not the, um, you know, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but... Uh, you know, they designed these, so they got, you know, they went and did all the R&D, designed these, they're made in the UK, 
um, it's a real, real microphone and it performs quite well. Yeah, no, we've sold uh, quite a few actually. Um, so it's a, it's a good price bracket um, in terms of just needing to get a quick microphone. But yeah, the seven ninety yeah, seven ninety nine is it's a good price point to get you know top quality top quality microphone. So um, it's a nice design and uh, you know it's doing well. I think people should give it a shot. You know. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's really you know rent one or grab one and, and, and listen to it. And most people I think will be surprised that it's a it's a real microphone. It's not a novelty item. Right. right. And then we have the shorter version as well. You have the shorter version, so the HC22 is the standard length, which is in the length of like a CMIT or a 416 right. yeah, there's length. There's a comparison there. Yep, and then the 22, which is just sort of a miniaturized. Same exact capsule, just um, shortened inter interference tube. So this is not going to have be as directional. Right. You know, just that you'd expect for, uh, for a shorter mic. A little wider spread, you can put it on a camera, and makes it a lot, makes it a lot easier. So this is the HC15. Copy that. Very well. I'll just mention this product, and I, okay. I think okay. you should look at uh, talking the ambient because okay. I just sort of learned about it uh, like an hour ago. Definitely something that stands out on this table. Yeah, <laughs> this is a forthcoming product called the Locket Plus. So some might remember the Master Locket, which was a very popular product that Ambient did, and they had the Locket, Master Locket Plus, which had the integration to do lens control for Zeiss lenses and cook lenses and stuff. So they've incorporated that technology into the Locket Plus, and then it's a modular system, so there's different um, bases that you can get. So you can have a different plate, essentially. Have, yeah, so this is meant to be the bag version, like just okay. sticking in a, in a bag on itself like you would with a classic Locket. Locket. This is the Locket from 2019. So this base right here, not only does it have the DC power, the time code output, it also has this antenna. And this is something that you're going to love to talk to uh, Ambient directly about, is seeing the interface and how this, this is an RF scanner that's built, built in, sort of an add-on. Very so a neat. A full-blown RF scanner. And so this is the basic plate. There's also a super slot, 25 pin one. So if you want to put it into a super slot for your time code and um, make it easy and convenient. And then there's also the, um, a, s a camera adapter too. So you just choose which one you want. Okay, so several Basically. different adaptations that yep. you can use this with, uh, including standalone. Uh, and then we will have uh, more information for you guys later on about this product when we Yeah, definitely talk, because the Ambient guys here are in the Bavarian booth, and I, the, they, c they have the interface to show you on, uh, on a computer the full function of that. But uh, it's really, really nice, nice looking product. Definitely. All right, so let's, uh, let's move on over here. Yeah. We got, we got a new logo, so hey. there we go. It's beautiful, right? Thank you. Um, yeah, we're complete, constantly expanding the line and the offerings, new connectors like the, the Sennheiser slash Sony Low Pro connector. Looks very, very nice in comparison to the older version, right? Yeah, this is still there. That's a molded one. Okay. Um, so this is just if people want to make their own cables and have a coily cable, this yeah. allows for that. Uh, a popular thing we've been doing now is the Canon C70 and the Black Magic right. have the, the TA3. Mm -hmm. um, the male. The male. So the, we have a nice offering for that. You can buy these connectors by themselves too. So. And then uh, any of these using the larger caps, any of that? Yeah, here's the, lar here's the larger cap with the newer B shell. So you can have the screws can be, you know, it's a 90 degree offset. So depending if you want the classic coming out of a mic. Right. And the large cap allows, like these are with Mogami cable. So if people want to use different kinds of Mogami cable, they fit in the caps. Right, so allowing yeah. you to have thicker gauge uh, for use yep. of power cables, things of that nature. And then this one I think is worth doing. This is like a BDS or a you know, uh, audio, uh, sound guy solutions, um, BDS type um, distro. And then we have this d four pin and we have this 20 gauge wire. So to power, um, you like your sound devices, Scorpio, right, perfect a example. H series like that. Yeah. And a nice high quality 20 gauge cable. And that's that, we're constantly just adding new cables and new things like that for the brand. Absolutely, yeah, see right. you got the new logo on the uh, mix free the sled. So that's very nice power to see. Sled, yep. Already adapted that. Uh, and then uh, talk to me here about what we're looking at from Sheps. Sheps has been busy, you know, the last few years, really uh, expanding things. So the CMC1, which was a, a new amplifier from the ground up, completely designed ground up that we introduced a couple of years ago, has the XLR connector. And then subsequently, we had the K version, which has a hardwired 
um, cable to right. a, to an XLR. Recently, just introduced if you have a Phantom Power um, body pack, okay, like an A10 from Sound Devices or a ZMT from Zaxcom, you can order this now with the Limo connector specifically to interface with that. So just as um, just a short uh, little flex, essentially. Then yeah. Yep, and then and then also the this is the, uh, the CMC One L, which is the Limo disconnect version. Okay. So that as well can have an XLR or a Limo on it for those two different transmitters like that. So expanding on the L, and then we have sort of in the range of the Peter Rang Omni Goose is the the flex mic for plants in cars. And this as well comes with a limo that would be wired either for sound devices, um, A10, or the Zaxcom. ZMT Zaxcom. Yeah. Okay. These all of these things with the limo, and this specifically, you got to have phantom power in a transmitter, which those two devices do. Would you be able to throw an adapter in there, anything like that? The problem is, is who makes a good limo, Adap you know, socket, cable um, adapter? We don't have one. I, I think it's possible, but. Don't quote me in sure. front of all these fair, people. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, but I'm sure people would, would be appreciate that. And, and then, then this looks very interesting here. This right here is a forthcoming product. Okay, okay? tell us more. And it's in beta right now. And so far, I think it's going to be a product. So this is a CMC1 KV. So there was some demand for people were asking, hey, can we get this with the right angle um, exit? for some particular plant things. So Sheps took it a, uh, a step further, and they put a magnetic uh, steel backing on here, which allows for adding some magnetic accessories. That's satisfying. So snap there. So right now they're playing with this uh, magnet, sort of a little 45-degree uh, angle one. There's this suction cup one, which is great because you can sort of you know, put it on a table, put it on a window of a car for a plant, put it on the mirror all different things that you can do. There's uh, some other little accessories that they have too, like if you want to glue a little magnet plate to somewhere. So sort of the sky's the limit for, for that, and it's really, really small. You put a yeah. capsule on there. And this, of course, XLR or Limo output for the transmitters. Okay, and then they've taken care of all the, uh, the R&D to make sure interference and all that. Of course. Okay. Yeah, Sheps okay. has the, you know, the RF you know, um, technology that they've that they have in place, which is as good as it gets for. for like Excellent. And uh, so this is not a product yet, but it's something that's going to be a product as far as I'm told at this moment from the demand. Do you know if they're uh, experimenting with a magnet as a replacement of the suction cup? Yeah, there, there's one, like a little magnet disc. Yeah, yeah, something yep, along the so lines of that. So you can just glue it on something. That would be an option as well. As a so they have just a bunch of stuff they've been kind of playing with to see what, what kind of works. And uh, it's quite interesting, the creativity that people have been. OK, been so um, we're throwing this against the wall. When, when was the stick? Uh, like Q4, maybe, at the, or sometime the following year? Um, well, the amplifier is a CMC1, so that's not part of it. It's just a matter of how they can fit it into their production. So I'm going to make an assessment that probably by the end of this year, it okay. should be a real product. Lovely, lovely. So, because the electronic portion of it is already done. Really, it's just the uh, how to get it into production, I guess. Excellent. So, and that's, uh, you know, everybody knows the blue mics. We, uh, the CMIT series, mini CMIT, still going strong. Um, so yeah, Sheps has been busy. They're really responding to the market with products that that people can help improve their yeah absolutely yeah. solutions yeah absolutely well thanks so much scott we really appreciate it no uh, do we have um no more questions all right well if there are no yeah, nice questions, seeing you guys thank you for stopping yeah by. we'll wrap it up and uh we'll see you at the gotham expo indeed yeah we'll see you in a few uh, short uh, weeks uh take care thank you scott